I'm Kate and welcome along to this video. I hope you're okay and sending lots of love to you. So this is another thrift haul, a charity shop haul, everything you're about to see I found recently um, and it was all secondhand so from my charity shops here in Norfolk. So I hope you enjoy um, this video and like seeing the bargains that I found recently. So you might have watched my video last week, I did a come thrifting with me vlog and I went round quite a few different charity shops in Norwich and a little village in Norfolk and I found quite a lot actually so I think you saw some of it in the video last week if you didn't watch it I shall link it below I'll put it in the um, description box down there or in the comment thing or it'll be somewhere down there you know when you click it so yeah that video will be here if you didn't watch it but I did find quite a lot um like I said you might have seen a few bits that I picked up and I said I'll share everything else with you um, today. So I'm going to share most of it but then next week I found quite a lot of Christmas stuff so I thought well I'll do a separate Christmas haul so I show you all the sort of non-Christmassy bits I found and then next week I'll do just a Christmas haul. So I found some Christmas clothes, I found some Christmas um, decor, I found Christmas presents for people so I was really excited to see all the Christmassy bits. Um, I don't know why but it's more exciting when you find secondhand Christmas stuff like decorations and presents are just I just love what you can find you just never know so I'm I'm gonna say sorry because it's really dark in here today so it's been quite bright the last few days and today's quite dull so I hope you can see me I hope you can see everything I've been out in the wind so my hair's um and the rain so my hair's got a bit funny as well so just gonna make the best of it so yeah I'm just gonna get on with the video I'm gonna try and do another no edit one because I always say this I always try and then I end up editing it because there's always awkward bits but I'm not going to today I'm just gonna keep going and then hopefully I'll put it on it's no edit but before I get into it I'm gonna do a mug of the day I've actually got a mug and a cup of the day because I've got an effervescent vit effervescent darling effervescent vitamin c drink in here um it's one of it's my a little calf kids and beaker I bought for Toby years ago and we've just kept it. It's really cute. I've got my effervescent vitamin C, which I've half um I've had half of that. And then my mug of the day is in this lovely one that you might have seen last week. So in my shopping, oh excuse me, shopping vlog, I found this for 50p at the YMCA. YMCA. Um so I thought I would get that and use it today. Oh, sorry, just sorting my hair out. I know people people don't like me sorting my hair out, but I had to because it's going like that. Um, right, so coffee mug of the day. This is quite a plain one. But I just like it because it just said coffee and it's a good shape. It's a nice size. Look at that. It's got some coffee drips on it as well because I've been drinking out of my coffee mug. I love that. It's just simple something nice about it if you know what I mean so that's my mug of the day really simple hello Rufus simple um simple coffee mug but I, I do like that I'm gonna put it down because I'm, I'm not actually gonna drink it it's one of those caramelly ones hello gorgeous hello Rufus Rufus the dog is here saying what's going on it's a caramel one and I don't actually like them I don't I don't like the smell of the caramel coffee pods I like caramel and coffee, but I'm not sure on the pods. I've been trying them and I think I've gone off them. So let me know. Do you like caramel coffee? Um, have you tried a caramel pod and what do you think? I'm not sure. I think they can pod off. But some people might love them. It might be really nice. I don't know. Um, I'm going to start off with... What should I start off with? Shall I do my mug? I've got a couple of other mugs of the day that are just gorgeous. So you might have seen one of these and then I found the other one. Was it later on? I think it was. Yeah, it was later on. So you might have seen this in last week's video, a really cute little Kath Kidston mug. Um, and this is, I think it's Provence Rose, this print. I love it. I've got a, sort of a dinner set with all of this. Um, bowls, plates, side plates that I picked up years ago secondhand. And I love just finding pieces to add to it because it's so pretty. It's gorgeous. And I do have quite a few of these mugs in this shape. It's quite, they're quite a nice size. Although they're fairly small, smaller than this coffee coffee mug of the day, but it's still a nice size. There you go. So another mug of the day. And this was in the Children's Society and it's two pounds it was. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze, hang on, hang on. No, that was a weird one. Um, two pound 29, which uh, yeah, it's, as well I don't know it's a bit it's quite expensive for a mug but it's a lovely Kath Kidston one and it's still quite cheap really you know in real life uh, and they spelled Kath Kidston wrong but that's fine because it's normally with a c but that's all right we get make mistakes um and then I got this lovely gorgeous Pip Studio cup 
I would say mug, but it's, it's, it is a cup because it's quite small. Now, if you watch my videos, thank you if you do, I appreciate, appreciate that. I don't, I don't know why I'm, I was like, I'm gonna punch you. I appreciate it. Um, yes, yeah, so I appreciate that you watch my videos. I love Pip Studio. I think it's so pretty. It's a lot more delicate, I would say, than Kath Kidson and Emma Bridgewater because it's just beautiful with little gold and there's delicate details and like even the handle at that so I do love a bit of Pip Studio I found some second no I found a few bits second hand and I found some in the sale I was gonna say like John Lewis sale I've got a couple of teapots that I love so I picked this up because look it's 99p which is incredible I found this actually the same day I did the vlog but I went to Toby had his haircut I think later on it was like in the late afternoon and then I just popped over and found this and couldn't believe it so 99p Pip Studio cup mug Kmuck, pug, kmuck, pip, yeah, there you go. And this is such a gorgeous make and I just couldn't believe it was just sitting there. So 99p for that, but it is quite small. It's smaller than the smaller Kath Kidston one, but it's quite nice, you know, for a little mug of tea, cup of tea. It's a good, it's a good size and it's so lovely. I love how it's on the inside as well. So lots of mugs of the day. I did have a clear out. I actually have quite a bit of room in my mug cupboard, um, which is exciting. So. I can, I've been putting things in to, um, to fill it, shove it in the cupboard, fill it up. Right, this won't take me very long because I keep finding lovely mugs. You might have seen this last week. I, um, I got some straws. These were two pounds, but I did show them on the vlog. And these are just really handy. Obviously, they're going to be great at Christmas. And they're just handy anyway to have um, some straws. I think I'm out of straws, actually. So this is perfect for Christmas and for little parties. There's loads here. There's actually 144. Well, they might have borrowed some, not borrowed some, but used some because it's, it's already been opened. But there's, there's tons in there. So there's loads and loads and loads of these like paper cardboard straws. They seem quite solid, actually. These seem very good. Biodegradable and compostable. I like you. Straws and where are they from? It just says Kirland. Kiki Kirland. I don't know what that is, actually. I don't know where you're from, but you look... You look very lovely. Straws. Ooh, so put that back in. I'm gonna throw it over there. And then I also picked up some lovely, no, yet scarves and some gloves. Now look at these gloves. Look how posh they are. These are gonna keep my hands so warm, and they are so soft, lovely. Oh, they've got a little dark mark on them. Where did that come from? Uh, that's okay because there's. It's fine, I, it's just got a dark mark. Even though they are brand new, there's a dark mark. Maybe that's why they went to the charity shop. They were like, oh, I've got these lovely gloves. And then they were like, oh no, it's a dark mark. Can't possibly wear them with a dark mark. So, but they probably didn't think that at all. They were £2.50. I probably did the dark mark anyway. I probably chucked them on the floor or something by accident. £2.50 from St Elizabeth East Coast Hospice. They're Jasper Conran. Let's say how much they'd be normally. Oh, they've got cashmere in them. With cashmere, darling. That's good, isn't it? That doesn't say how much, but they seem very lovely, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna wear them. There you go. Oh, they feel really nice, even with with the dark mark. Oh, they're lovely. Hello. I might just keep this one on while I'm showing you stuff. Oh yeah, my scarves. Oh, hang on. I got some fluff. Maybe that's from the from the gloves. Um. See, so normally I'd edit there. But it's a no edit and I'm just going to keep going and put it on as it is nice and raw right I got a really pretty scarf so this is kind of like Burberry isn't it like the Burberry print it's kind of classic as well it's just um a lovely print and I thought well I'll see if Lee wants this it's not Burberry I think it was a pound it doesn't actually have its tag on I think where I was it was I think all scarves were about a pound or, or two pounds so I don't know where it's from if Lee doesn't want it or Toby I'll see if Toby wants it then I might see I might just give it to you and or Luke and see if they want it. But I think they do have quite a few check scarves, but it's a really sort of slim, lightweight one, you know, just a, when you want a little scarf, more to look good than to keep you warm. But I just thought it was really pretty and it's in great condition. So I got that, thought I'd just chuck that over there. And I also picked up a Norwich scarf. Yay, on the boat, just hey, never mind the danger. Um, I do support Norwich, I love, I love Norwich. So I thought I would get this scarf and it was two pounds as well from RSPCA. There you go, two pounds. And yeah, it's official Norwich logo. Is this the old badge? They changed their badge. 
I don't actually know if that's old or new. What do you reckon? Do you know? You probably don't know either. I don't really care if it's old or new. I just think it's lovely. So I got myself a Norwich scarf. So I'm going to cheer on Norwich. I can wear my scarf. Oh, these are cute. So I got some little photo frames. And I'm going to take this. This looks weird, doesn't it? If I just got one glove on. So I'm going to take it off. Hello. Rufus is watching me on the landing like that. Hello. He's so cute. He's got one bad paw and one good paw. And he sometimes puts the bad one on top of the good one and watches like that. So we don't know what happened to his bad paw, but it doesn't affect him. Right, so photo frames. I got these lovely ones. They're a pound each. I think they're a pound. Yeah, one pound. And this one's really nice. It's sort of driftwoody, like this pale wood. And I thought, I'm not sure if I'm going to use them in our house, but I thought they'd make really nice... Let me drop them present so if I put a picture in here of Toby or something give it to to one of our family members they might like it so I thought I would do that because they're such nice quality photo frames so I nearly didn't get them and then I thought actually I will because we've got Toby's school photos so we can put one of those in here maybe um so they're quite nice nice size bigger than A4 um so this is I don't know what it is how big are you I don't know but quite a nice size so two of these they were a pound each, these lovely wooden photo frames, put those there. And then I got this one, this one's really heavy. And we'll probably put this in our house somewhere, maybe in the downstairs living room. And um, it's really nice, I don't know what the, it looks like wood, but it feels like stone, because it's really heavy. But it's really nice, so it's kind of white and, I don't know what the, like a wood, maybe green or something, but really cute photo frame. That was also a pound, but it's really nice, sort of really good quality and heavy. And then I picked up this funny little rucksack. So this was, I think it was two or three pounds. It's from Ikea, 2 99 from the Children's Society. It's from Ikea and it's a rucksack, but it's like folds up into nothing. So it'd be a really good one to take. Um, with you then if you go shopping you can get out and fill it up because I think you can get loads in here so this actually might be a good one for Mr Carrington hmm he might like it or I might keep I don't know do you think he'd like this even if you're watching would you like this rucksack thing because it might be good for when you go on your travels you know you get out and about on the train and stuff and you might need this so if you're watching hi you and would you like this if not i'll just keep it and i can i can use it so i've got my travels and then if i go shopping you can chuck it all in here so it's got the straps at the back a little holding thing here and it's got side pockets which would be handy and a front no it doesn't have a front do you have a front pocket no front pockets two side pockets but a really big space here so it's just a really useful shopping bag and there's loads of room in here um, that you can just fill up but it folds into nothing so it's really good you could put the bag in a bag and you'd have a spare shopping bag so i think that's brilliant that was 2.99 this is also a gift so i'm going to show it to you and you have to work out who do you think it's from i think this is absolutely lovely but i don't make pies or, or anything like that so i'm gonna to have to give this away and the person it's for i think they're gonna love it it looks like it's enamel but it's not it's um is it earthenware or hardware or not hardware it's um you know like ovenware stuff and it's from john lewis so it's it's very posh john lewis Oh, it's porcelain. I was going to say that, then I thought, no, it can't be. Oven to tableware, which I think this puts Luke, isn't it? So I think Luke will love this. And he's just got his new house as well. So I'll link um, his new house videos below because he just moved in. I'm so happy for him. I just think it's brilliant. So he's he's over the moon. And obviously, when you move into a house, you need things. So you can have this. Um, so it says oven to tableware, porcelain, microwave, dishwasher, freeze and oven safe. John Lewis just looks really nice. And then the side, it just says Bonoffi, uh, lemon meringue, pie, just a pie, pie, um, apple, treacle, bake well. And it's white with, I think that's green or grey, but it's lovely, isn't it? It's really quite big. I think that is a great oven dish. Oven to table, no messing about. So Luke, if you're watching, hello, this is for you. 
a little pricey and that was three pounds so a really good price as well and then i got some lovely things over here sorry it's i'm so sorry it's so dark today i have some of these lights but they're up in the loft and the loft is just full of stuff so i can't get up there so i i am sorry i need to like get one and it used to be under the bed and it disappeared and i didn't want to tackle the loft so hopefully you can see everything okay i don't think it's too bad but um yeah it's not it's, i'd like it if it was brighter but i can't do anything about the weather um i picked up this little tripod talking of filming i picked up this tripod because i got this one which is great but it's kind of a little bit wobbly. This one is very solid. Toby spotted this actually when we were somewhere, I can't remember, a couple of weeks ago. And uh, I said, oh, that's brilliant. I probably wouldn't have seen it. So I just need to fix my phone recording thing to the top here, but it's really sturdy and solid. And it was five pounds, I think. Where does it say? Oh, I might've come off the tag, but oh, there we go. Five pounds um, for this. So a very solid recording tripod five pounds and then this is lovely so you might see it on instagram um that we went to richmond for a couple of days in half term and met up with my dad and it was really nice seeing him and spending time in richmond and we went to a few charity shops and i found this gorgeous book and i've been really enjoying reading it so when we were away i sort of sat up and read this about an hour and a half and it's just it's such a nice Book. I love things like this because I've said it before but I, I do enjoy like gardening magazines but you can get so much more from a lovely book especially if it's second hand it's the same price as as a magazine so this one's called Urban Flowers <coughs> some voice in front of you there Urban Flowers Creating Abundance in a Small City Garden so obviously I don't live this well you might not know but I don't live in a city and we've got quite a big garden but I can learn lots from this anyway because our little patio area, that's kind of where I do, I wouldn't call it gardening, but I potter about in the patio and like make it look pretty there. So I thought I could, you know, get some good tips from this book and it's just lovely. It sort of talks about her. So it's by Carolyn Dunster and it talks about her upbringing and stuff and how she became, you know, into flowers and gardening. And it's just, it feels really like, I just really enjoyed reading it. So I've read, I read all the introduction and her story and then I'm just sort of making my way through into different sections. It was from Oxfam and it was 2 99 but it's really good. So if you know somebody that's got like a, a city garden or something, I think they'd love it. I did think of Ewan for this. I thought, oh, Ewan will love that. So after I finish reading, I'll probably pass it along to him and see if he wants to have a look. But it's it's really good. So I'll finish reading that and hopefully learn some, um, learn some more things about flowers and gardening. But there's all sorts in here. It tells you how to make them, growing therapeutic flowers has all sorts of pretty like decorations as well of how to how to sort of put them in different things so she's arranged she's used all different things like a suitcase and a pot what else oh a basket as well which is really pretty so a lovely book from Richmond for 2 99 and then I got these as well these boots from Richmond and they're Clark's I needed some sort of good sturdy boots but I needed ones that were waterproof because I like to wear suede boots um because they're quite comfortable but then they get wet don't they so I needed some waterproof ones and Clark's boots are boots Clark's boots are really good quality and solid so they were 9.99 I was going to say each then but obviously not 9.99 for the boots and they're really nice so size six leather boots in great condition and the heel isn't too high it might look a little bit high but I don't think it is. Um, when I tried them on, they felt really, really comfortable because I'm not very good. I can't really wear high heels anymore. I like a little low heel and that's it. Like just a nice, comfortable, oh, sorry, just need you. A nice, comfortable heel with a comfy bit for your, you know, the rest of your feet and your, your balls and stuff. I also, talking of comfort, found these amazing trainers. So I thought these would be really good for going for walks because I don't really have anything apart from wellies to wear on a walk not that I go walking often but when you need to sometimes you need to go for a walk don't you so and I do enjoy the odd walk if the weather's nice so these look really good and um, they look really comfortable quite solid good condition and they were they're Nikes at Nike are they Nike Air or something Nike Air Max or something Toby said they were good he was like oh they're really good trainers size 6 8.95 and yeah just need a little clean but they look in really really good condition 
and hopefully they'll look good with, with like blue jeans or something and then I can just go for a walk and you know be quite comfortable so I like the look of those what do you reckon I'd love to have, I'd love to be a person that always wore trainers and you know look good but I I don't know I only feel really comfortable in flip-flops that's my like that's my comfort they're my go-to flip-flops fit flops they're my new favorite flip-flops um so hopefully now I'll look good in them if not I can just like redonate them to the charity shop eventually but I'm just, I hopefully I'm gonna like them right I'm onto my clothes so I've got a few things to show you they're over here so I'll just grab them I think you've seen a couple or had a glimpse of a couple from last week's video so I've got let me just move my hair here my hair's annoying me today sorry so you might have seen this last week you know when you've got your hair down but all you want to do is put it in a ponytail I've got that feeling like nah and your hair's like mm -mm. you know that feeling so after this video I'm going to get into my pajamas and get snuggly and then put my hair in a ponytail so it's nice and comfortable right so you might have seen this in last week's video this little jumper and it's only £1.50 it's from YMCA and I spotted it and thought that looks really really cute not probably for this weather because it's so cold today it's really chilly so I'm wearing a lot of nice warm thick jumpers but I thought this would be lovely for spring you know when it starts getting a bit warmer it's got three quarter length sleeves and probably really nice with um a pair of blue jeans or something so I don't know where it's from originally it's been cut out but yeah it was £1.50 size 12 or does it say in here actually hang on where are you from what's that been cut out to oh here we go are you Matalan or something? Pepin, no, M and Co. M and Co. So a little jumper for £1.50, really pretty print. I like that. It feels in really good condition as well. And it's got a tiny hole though at the back here, but you can't really see. So my hair will cover that anyway, unless I get annoyed with it and put it in a ponytail. And then I found this um, two days ago actually when I went to Cancer Research because I bought a bookcase on Facebook Marketplace and I wanted some really nice books so I went to Cancer Research in Great Yarmouth there's a huge charity shop um, which I show quite a lot on videos and every book is well it's two for a pound on books so I got quite a few hardbacks and they you know put them in my bit but what put them in my bookcase um to fill it up because it was looking quite empty I'll, I've shown that on Instagram but I need to um on my house account which is Kate's Georgian home I think it's in my I've got some highlights you know on Instagram you've got your you know your story and your highlights this is in my highlights under bargain finds so if you want to see that bookcase but I'll be putting it on Instagram I think soon I'll show it in a vlog at some point as well um it's only 20 quid and it's, it's been sanded. I'm probably not going to paint it, actually. I was going to paint it, but it's really lovely wood, so I might just leave it. But anyway, so I was looking for books, saw this, and funnily enough, this is from Lidl. So I went to Lidl in the morning, and I saw this, like, in a packet. You know, and Lidl had their um, dresses and clothes. They're in sort of packets. And I just felt it and thought, oh, I don't know. It's not really what I'm looking for. But I liked the, um, the pattern. So when I saw it in Cancer Research, I thought, oh, that's that dress from Lidl. I was looking at this morning and it's actually got, it's lined as well which I didn't realize so it, I just think it's so pretty so this with um it's kind of knee length long sleeves and I think with tights and boots it'll look lovely so I'm going to London tomorrow um I've got a day out in London so I'm gonna um probably wear this I'm gonna have a try on as well um today probably before I get into my pyjamas and put my hair back. So figure out what I'm wearing because I'm getting up really early. And I think I'm going to wear this with my boots and tights and then just a, a big old jacket and scarf or something. But isn't that so pretty? So that was £5. It's brand new from Lidl. Here's Mara. Size 12. I tried it on. Fits really nicely. Yeah, £5. So I really like that. So I'll just put that here. And then you saw this in last week's video if you watched it. I haven't tried this on actually, I need to try it on. It's a nobody's child dress. Nobody's child, that's right. Not nobody child's. It's nobody's child. Lee's sister, Laura, loves this this make and these dresses. So if it doesn't fit, fit me, it might um, fit her, it might be a bit too big actually. Uh, yeah, but I think it's really pretty. So again, it's probably one for the spring. I don't know, maybe with boots it might be okay, tights and boots. It's quite long. It was only £6, as you can see there from Sue Rider. 
and it's brand new doesn't say how much it was i just think it's so pretty this pattern like the patchwork is gorgeous i love the colors i really hope it fits so if it doesn't i'll pass it on to laura and then if it's actually it might fit because she's really tall so it might fit laura yeah if it's not for me i shall pass it on to to laura but it's just lovely i think it's so pretty i'm hoping it fits it does go in here and then it flares out and i love the sleeves so they'd be quite flattering if it if it fits but really pretty isn't it i think it's gorgeous a zip down the back i'll need to wear something under it because otherwise it'd be a bit see-through so sort of fit and flare it is but quite oh it's quite long so yeah gorgeous dress from nobody's child and i'll put that there and then is this my last thing here is my final item in this charity shop haul is this lovely white company dress so this was six pounds from relate and I haven't tried this on yet either. I need to try it on. White label, white company. I think it's a 12. Yeah, you're a size 12. It's just a really nice black dress. So it's got lovely little sleeves, a v-neck. It's sort of t-shirt material, so really, really soft. It goes in here and then it flares out and it's got a little, what is this called? Is it like a layer? It's got a layer at the bottom, which I like as well. So hopefully that looks good. Again, this will be one for the next year really so I'll just put it away and then wear it um I do love a simple you know like a simple black dress you can just chuck on with flip-flops and wear anywhere so I really like the look of that past the knee so I think it's probably midi length it ish you know like yeah midi length so past the knee just a little bit further so it's quite long um but really nice so white company dress to end on yeah and that was six pounds from relate so that is everything that is everything in my charity shop haul so i really hope you enjoyed it if you did give it a like and make sure you subscribe as well um let me know your favorite item so if you have one add it in the comments i love it all as i always do because the stuff i've bought i just particularly love this this gorgeous pip studio cup just love it i found a gorgeous teapot a little while ago don't you remember that i went um charity shopping in Cromer, Cromer and like North Norfolk. I found a beautiful Pip Studio teapot. I'll probably go with that. I think it's matching actually. So I love that, so cute. And I also love everything else. My little dresses, the photo frames, the scarf, the all sorts, I love it all. So yeah, if you do have a favorite, add it below. And I'll also link my um, videos I filmed recently, like I said, the one from last week will be below the come to the charity shops with me. And then I'll link my other videos that I filmed recently as well. So they'll be down there with my Instagram accounts. That's Kate McCabe uh, for my normal account and Kate's Georgian Home for my house account. They'll be linked down there. But thanks so much for watching this video. I've got to the end. I'm not gonna edit it. I'm just gonna put it on as it is. There's a few awkward moments where I normally would stop and then like, you know, carry on, but but I didn't do that. I'm just gonna whack it onto YouTube like that. Blech. So I hope you enjoyed it and I'll speak to you next week at two o'clock. I've got another charity shop haul for next week. It will be my charity shop Christmas haul and I've got some beautiful things to show you. So I can't wait to, uh, to film that and, you know, shove it on for you next week, two o'clock next Friday. But thanks so much, have a great weekend and I'll see you soon, bye-bye.